How to create the Zcash wallet, transparent address, and private address. First, you're going to want to go to the Zcash website, z.cash. Now, I'll tell you before we begin, don't be intimidated by installing this wallet and by using Linux. It's really easy. To install the wallet is really just a bunch of copy, paste, enter, copy, paste, enter, copy, paste, enter. Really straightforward, really easy. It's nothing to be scared about. Just dive in and do it. In order to download the wallet, we're going to want to go under Resources and click on GitHub. This is the Zcash GitHub page. We're going to want to scroll down to where it says, Where do I begin? It says, We have a guide for joining the public testnet. Click on that link. This will take you to the beta guide page. To install the wallet, we're going to want to scroll down a little bit. where it says get started. So we're going to have to install the dependencies first. We're using a Debian Ubuntu based system. I'm using Linux Mint here. You can use Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Lubuntu, any of the Ubuntus or Linux Mint. So I'm going to open my terminal and then I'm going to copy the command everything except for the dollar sign. I'm going to paste that into my terminal and hit enter. Type in my password. Hit enter. Then I'm going to type in Y for yes, hit enter. Now it will install the dependencies, what you need in order to install the wallet. I'm going to fast forward through parts of this video as some of these take a while to install or compile. So that's done now. I'm going to go to the next step. We scroll down, fetch our repository. I'm going to copy that. Paste it in the terminal, hit enter. Let it download the files it needs. Once that's done, copy the next command, cd zcash, change directory to zcash, paste that in the terminal, hit enter. Copy the next command, get checkout, copy, paste it in the terminal, hit enter. Copy the next command, fetch parameters, copy, paste it in the terminal, hit enter. This takes a while, it's going to do what it has to do, so just wait, be patient, let this finish. You can see I'm eight times fast forwarding this, so it's really slow. I have a slow internet connection also, you might have a faster internet connection. So once that's done, we want to compile the wallet. We'll copy the compiling command. Copy and paste it into terminal. Paste. Hit enter. And this again takes a very long time, so just be patient. When it finishes, we'll be ready to run it. So now we have to create the Zcash directory. We're going to copy the make directory dash p dash backslash dot Zcash command. We're going to copy that and paste it into the terminal and then hit enter. 
this will create a hidden folder in your home folder. So now that's done, we're going to open our home folder and we're going to right click and go to show hidden files. This will show us the .zcash folder. We're going to open that folder and create a text document. We're going to name this text document zcash.conf, configuration file. So once that's done, hit enter and open the file. We're going to copy and paste the configuration test into the file. So copy that and then paste it into the file and save the file. We can now close the file. Now we can run the wallet. So we're going to copy in the next command and paste it into the terminal and hit enter. It then says zcash server starting and puts us back to the prompt. So we can scroll down, we can quickly test, we'll copy this command, paste it in, hit enter, seems good. So we'll scroll down, first we're going to use getting test coins, then we're going to use shielding your test coins to get the two addresses, the transparent address and the private address. You can read through the rest of the information and try to send coins and whatnot after yourself. So we'll go to getting test coins. T address stands for transparent address. It's not test address, it's transparent address. So we're going to copy this command here, paste it into terminal, and this will give us a string of numbers. That is our transparent address. We're going to want to copy that and create a text file somewhere on your computer. I'm going to put it in documents. I'm going to paste my address in here. I'll label what it is. T address, transparent address. Paste it in. Now I'm going to generate my Z address, which is my private address. Uh, the address you're going to use to anonymously send to Zcat. So under shielding your coins, we can generate a Z address. Copy the command, paste it into the terminal, hit enter. This will give us a longer string of numbers and characters. So copy that and paste it into your text file. Now we're done. We have our two addresses. You can use either of these addresses to send or receive coins. So save that. Now you can again read through the rest of everything here and try to test send some coins, receive some coins, check out your coins in your wallet. But for now this should be all that you need to get started, to test out your miners using your addresses, to test out the pools. So I hope you like this video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.